My mom came to the United States as an immigrant. And I know this is about me, but I got to talk about her because that's a part of me. So she came as an immigrant in the 90s, Harlem. You know, it was crazy. She got exposed to a lot of things she didn't want to see, of course, but she was pregnant. She had no idea until she got here. She was sleeping on a couch in a family member's house. Old lady knocks at the door. My mom opens because it's an old lady that there's knocking. Maybe she needs some help. Dominican, al final del dia, this is what we do. Mm -hmm. It's like we help each other out. When she opens the door, a few guys come inside. So the lady, the old lady was like a- Decoy, yep. like a setup. set up. Set up. And my mom opened the door. Then those guys came in asking for for money. She don't know English. She's like, what, what are you talking about? Again, she's an immigrant, sleeping on the couch, working for free at the time. Then she, eventually she started getting paid, doing whatever she had to do and being pregnant. Um, when that happened, that caused her to have a miscarriage. She calls her mother, which is my grandma. And she's like, you know, I don't know what to do. You know, I need to get it out of me because I'm in the toilet and there's parts coming out ever since this incident happened. You know, just hearing that about my mom, like it hit me differently. Come to find out uh, a few months, she takes a tea. I forgot the name of it. That makes you have an abortion because she already lost the baby. So she's just trying to get her stomach clean. Mm -hmm. So she can move on because, you know, like I, I, any woman that gone through a miscarriage know what I'm talking about. Bro, damn, I'm getting chills. I'm saying this. Um, funny enough, time passed by a few weeks later. One of, um, we call him uncle, but he was really a neighbor that they became really close, grew up together type of thing. I know like if you're Dominican, you got a lot of tios mm -hmm. that they not even blood. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they not even blood. So there was this guy that he was really close to the family. And he's like. You know, he's like, you're pregnant still. He's like, what you mean? I just had a miscarriage. He's like, no, I could, you, tiene barriga. you know, your belly's still there. Like, you got to get checked. Bro, my mom was still pregnant. She had a miscarriage of somebody else that was in that belly along with me. Was it a girl? Was it a boy? I don't know. Wow. But I'm here, y'all. Funny enough, seven and a half months, rushed to the hospital because she felt this pain. Gives birth. And they couldn't believe what they seen because I was like uh, two to four pounds, something like that. And, you know, they know the whole story of the miscarriage because eventually she ended up going. And that's when she realized, you know, nothing, nothing would have happened if she went to the hospital. They still take care of you. Right. You just get a bill that you got to pay. But, you know, um, it, it's just crazy to me to when I found out my story that I'm like, yo, I was a twin. Like mm. that hit me, and I'm like, I survive. You went through that, and I survived. So it's just like when I found out about that, I started seeing myself like as somebody special, like like an angel on earth, and just decided to just bring joy to people because I'm like, yo, a lot of people take life for granted. The fact we right here, right now, having this conversation, it's a blessing because I'm not even supposed to be here. You know, I always wonder what would have been like the other the other half of me. You mm. know. God bless me with twins. And if you know anything about having twins, that doesn't depend on the man, most likely it's on the woman. So it's just like, I got so many things to look in life 